हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दीज टू प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट टू कपल्स एक्ट ऑन द बीम इफ एफ इक्वल्स टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव पाउंड डिटर्मिन द रिजल्ट एंड कपल मोमेंट एंड इन दिस नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेट दैट टू कपल एक्ट ऑन द बी ऑन द बीम डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स एफ सो दैट द रिजल्ट एंड कपल मोमेंट इज फोर फिफ्टी पाउंड फीट काउंटर क्लाक वाइज वेयर ऑन द वेयर ऑन द बीम डज द रिजल्ट एंड कपल मोमेंट एक्ट सो फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल फर्स्ट वी विल हैव अ जनरल इक्वेशन राइट सो a uh, we we want to find the resultant couple right so we want to find the uh resultant couple so if we look into this diagram right so the beam is subjected to uh 200 pound forces this one pair and this another pair of forces so 200 pound forces they are producing uh one couple and these two forces are producing one another couple so the resultant moment magnitude this will be magnitude remember we are doing it the scalar way right so this will be magnitude and this will be equal to 200 that 200 force this 200 force times the perpendicular distance between these two since the moment moment since the couple moment can be determined using the product of force times the perpendicular distance between the two forces so now the force is 200 pounds and the perpendicular distance between them is 1.5 feet and as we can see that this 200 and this 200 both of these are producing the counterclockwise moment so let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so this is the positive couple now for um this f uh since this f is making 30 degree they are parallel to each other and they are making 30 degree with the horizontal so we cannot apply this equation directly since the perpendicular distance between both of these two forces is not known directly so for that what we need to do is that we need to resolve both of these forces so this force f will have one component this one will be the cos component this is f cos of 30 and similarly this one will be the f sin of 30 and similarly this negative force will have cos component here and it will have the sin component here f sin of 30 degrees now as we can see that um, this cos component both of these cos component they are producing the counter clockwise couple and the perpendicular distance between th these two cos components is 1.25 feet so we will write plus since it is producing the counter clockwise moment and the force magnitude is f cos of 30 times the perpendicular distance which is 1.25 feet <clears throat> and now the sin component so the sin component the perpendicular distance between the sin components is zero so they are not producing a couple so we can write that this is plus f sin of 30 and the perpendicular distance between both of these sin components is zero so only the cos component is producing a couple so this resultant couple is 200 into 1.5 this is 200 into 1.5 this is 300 300 plus 1.25 f cos of 30 degrees plus zero so for resultant for resultant couple we have this equation now in problem 470 in problem 470 the force magnitude is given which is 125 pounds so now we will substitute this f value in this equation and that will give us the resultant couple so the resultant couple is 300 plus 1.25 into 125 cos of 30 so this is 300 plus 1.25 into 125 cos of 30 this is cos of 
30. So this gives us 435. The resultant couple is approximately 435 pound feet. The units will be pound feet since the force is given in pounds and the dimensions are given in feet. Now the solution of the second problem that is 471. So in 471 we are given the resultant couple. Uh, determine the magnitude of force F so that the resultant couple moment is 450 pound feet. So now we are given the resultant couple magnitude 450 pound feet and we are required to find that force F. We are required to find the magnitude of this force F in order to have the resultant couple equal to 450 pounds. So again we are going to use this equation. Now in this equation we are given this magnitude and we are required to find this force F. So now we can write that 300 plus 1.25 F cos of 30 is equal to 450 pound feet. So now this we can write this as 1.25 F cos of 30 450 minus 300 and if we divide both sides of equation by 1.25 cos of 30 so this will cancel out and we will get the magnitude of force f so the magnitude of force f required for that 450 resultant couple is 450 minus 300 divided by 1.25 cos of 30 so this is 138.56 so approximately this is approximately equal to 139 pound. So the solution of the 470 problem is uh, the resultant couple is 435 pound feet and the force required for 450 pound feet resultant couple, the force is 139 pounds. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe and like this video, it will help me to reach uh, more students like you.